All right, now we're going to take this profile and we're going to insert it into another family. So what you'll need to do is go to New, Family, and we'll scroll down to the uh, Curtain Panel Pattern Based. Okay, in this one we're going to insert that profile. And what you'll see here is you have four points. Uh, they already have adaptive components uh, already in the four corners. Um, and so some of these things kind of get built for you because they assume a curtain panel is going to have uh, four sides. So if yours didn't, you'd have to kind of create its own uh, profile, say I'm based on three points or however many uh, sides your curtain wall panel has. Um, but we'll keep it with four. So we need to go and it looks like we didn't save uh, this profile so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And this will be my custom profile. And then we're going to load that into the project. So family Six, I assume. There we go. All right. So what I want you to do is set the um, the plane, the work plane, to that one, the perpendicular one there, and you're essentially going to start to put those profiles along this line. So I'm going to click that, and then click anywhere <coughs> near the end, and then. Right there, have it snap to um, the center, the midpoint, and then somewhere near the end there. So now let's load that profile into this project. So for me, it's family six, and if it should show up, but if it doesn't, because I, I think I've already you know, put it in there, I'm going to go to insert, and I'm sorry, to create, and go to component, and it'll be the next one in. So make sure you're set uh, to that reference plane, and then make sure it's highlighted when you snap on it. And then do it again, set to the next one. and snap into the final one. Each time you need to set the, uh, the work plane to the new, new point. Otherwise these um, profiles would be snapping to the wrong uh, piece of Alright, great. <coughs> now what you're going to do is uh, select just the point not the profile and you'll see under properties that you can uh, locate that along the, the curve so say I put in 0.25 it's going to move all the way down to a quarter way down the line if I put in uh, 0.75 it's going to then snap to a three quarter way so it's basically from zero, the start point, to one being the end point. So what I want to do is put it at one. Yeah. All right, we'll do the same thing with this one. But this one's going to go to the beginning, so it'll be zero. And this one will stay the same at zero, or at, um, at point five. So now if you select these, you'll find in Revit, that when you select geometry, when you're in a custom mass or family such as what we're in, when you go to um, the create form, uh, it's going to kind of automatically try to uh, assume what, what it is that you want to create. So I'm just going to create a solid. And what it's done is it's created a um, extrusion, basically lofting from one curve to the next. <coughs> now, if we can see it maybe a little bit more clearly that's doing something you know, more interesting if we tab over select one of those profiles and we'll notice that 
there is a possibility of changing uh, the profile's parameter. So this is exterior form. So these are the two parameters that we created in that profile to begin with. So if, say, we just go in and we give it a, a new parameter, so this would be the distance of this one. And we can go ahead and make this an instance also. And we call out distance as being, say, 1. One foot, that is. And then we select that profile and we call this out. It's using that distance. And it, it gave it that 1. So if we change this to 2. Let's change it there. Now we can do the same thing with this one back here. We'll change this. We'll click on that little box right there and we'll apply distance to it. So you can see that that gets very complex and very interesting pretty quickly. So now we need to assign something to this one. So let's do a new parameter and we'll call this distance 2. We'll also make that an instance. And then under the family types, we're going to give it a formula. So it's going to say distance divided by say, 2 apply. So it's going to automatically, oh, I selected the wrong piece. I don't want it to go on the inside curve. So in fact, this one, I'm going to say none. But for the exterior form, I'm going to say distance 2. Well, I want to get this back to, I think, three inches of what it was originally. All right, so now you can see kind of how to start to control that. Cool. All right, one thing I may want to change from what I did before is that I will go ahead and make, it seems the interior form, I'm probably never going to change that part of the profile. Let's go ahead and go ahead and change that. So we we'll go back into the floor level plan and let's go ahead and select that. We'll edit. When you edit the parameters, you go into family types and you click on that little pencil right there. Edit parameters and now I can say that's going to be a type. That's something I'm never going to change. If I do, everything's going to change the same, right? So if it's not going to be two, it'll be three, Every, all the interior forms will go to three. So I'm going to say okay to that, apply. Okay. And I'll load that into the project. And it'll ask me this every time. I'll overwrite the existing version with the parameter of values. I definitely want to hit that. And so you can see just barely that this both of these on the edges change too. Now I still have control over that. If I go in here, now if I actually want to change that value, I will have to go back in to the custom profile to the orig originator of it. And at that point I will I could change it to say six inches. And then load it back into and so now it's changing. Alright. So that's how you get started. Uh, essentially now you need to do that for the rest of them. Alright, you might notice that these are uh, rotated. Uh, that's an issue but it's easy to fix. Uh, I'm first going to go in and make sure that these aren't the same so I kind of understand which direction to rotate. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab those points, just the point, and you're going to rotate the angle so that it, the uh, exterior profile is pointed up. 
So it, and for me, it's 270. It's probably the same for you. All right, now the rest is the same. One thing to note is I was getting a, um, a message here saying that it had a duplicate point. That's okay. Just say okay through that. And then it's a little bit difficult. You have to get the right angle so that you make sure that you're grabbing the right profile. If you have a hard time selecting, just make sure you hold down the tab key. The last thing to do is then select each of these uh, profiles and assign the, uh, the parameter. 